Now, the next option available is the Smart Common Input Method Platform. Uh, it's a way to set up configuration options of, uh, related to that. Uh, this is something that is just not used very much by, by most people, but if one does need to use it, one probably knows, and that's the place to go to uh, set that up. The next item is uh, screen resolution, and uh, this is an option uh, that allows one to change the resolution, the refresh rate, uh, things like that related to the default screen resolution settings. The next item is uh, the screen saver. These are the options related to the screen saver, whether one wants to enable it or not. One can have just a blank screen, uh, random, and then there are various themes that are available uh, for the system, various uh, default screen saver themes that are available. And one can, of course, preview, see what it looks like by clicking the preview button. One can set the amount of time it takes before the screen saver is activated. And you can uh, select whether or not to lock the screen when the screen saver is active. In other words, uh, whether or not to require a password afterwards uh, when the computer is woken back up again or not. Though all of those options are available in uh, the screen saver preferences under the preferences submenu. The next item is, is entitled sessions. And what sessions are is sessions are when one is logged into the system, it's called a session. And because you, because Linux is, is a true multi-user operating system, you, one can have multiple users with, with multiple sessions running at any given time. And so um, this allows one to, to set settings on this particular session, whether or not to show the splash screen, whether or not to ask whether one wants to log out. Current session shows the current uh, running programs, and this is also where one can add startup programs. So for example, if one wants a particular program to start when first logging in, say perhaps an RSS reader or a web browser or something, one can go to uh, system, preferences and sessions and enable those uh, programs to start up on, on login. The, the next option is sound, and these are some options related to the sound system in the Ubuntu Linux system. You can test and uh, set whether or not you want default sounds and system sounds to, to turn on and turn off for different options. If, if one was to delete a file, if you want to have a beep, uh, you know, those kinds of events can be set up in this in this system. And so and if one is having sound problems, one can go here and, and auto-detect the sound cards and make changes and try to diagnose the problem at, at that point. The uh, next option uh, under preferences is theme, which is the subject of another tutorial. Allows one to set various theme options and theme preferences and make uh, custom themes and download new themes into the system and uh, make all those changes here. And then the last item in the Preferences submenu under System uh, is uh, Windows. And uh, what this does is it allows one to set different window preferences. One can, uh, for example, have Windows automatically selected when mousing over the windows. So if one has two windows open, rather than having to click on them to select them, one can uh, enable this, which allows you to simply move the mouse from window to window, and each window that the mouse is over becomes highlighted or becomes selected. Uh, there's different options related to the title bar. Right now, double-clicking on the title bar, maximizing it, or one can choose uh, roll-up, which is uh, just another way, rather than maximizing one can double click on this and it simply rolls up into the menu bar and double clicking again rolls it down. So those are various options that are available for window preferences and uh, that completes the review of the preferences submenu in the system menu located on the menu bar of Ubuntu Linux. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.